Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, and shit can plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. About six months ago I did a video on the Amar Nime drivers because we could actually enable smart access memory with older generation cards such as the Vega cards, for example Vega 56 and as you can see in that video Vega 56 does have a significant performance boost in some games by using smart access memory in some scenarios even going from for example 47 average FPS to 58 average FPS which in terms of smoothness makes a big difference and there is all you need is basically just install the modded drivers. So it's free performance, you won't need to pay anything, you won't have higher temperatures, you won't have higher power draw in most scenarios, unless the game really needs it to perform better. Overall, it's free performance for your older cards, so free performance. And now, once again, we have something similar on top of that. If you don't know the latest driver released by AMD, which is a 22.5.2, .2, brings the X9, 10 and 11 optimizations for RDNA 2 cards, so the, the RX 6000 series. And they actually work and in some scenarios the performance boosts are quite insane in terms of the X9, 10 and 11 titles and in some scenarios even other titles. Now. The Amir Nime drivers do enable those optimizations for the RX 6000 series, they enable those optimizations for older cards like the RX 5000 series, Vega GPUs, uh, RX 570, 580 which are the Polaris GPUs, so they enable those optimizations for the older GPUs. Now, will those optimizations really bring any benefit for the older GPUs with these modded drivers? That's what I want to show you in this video. But also these drivers are so much more than that, they, ha they have and they bring lots of features that you can see for example on the release notes of these drivers, these are the 22.5.1 Amer Nime modded drivers, okay? Uh, but although they are the 22.5.1, you can actually install these DirectX 9, 10 and 11 optimizations, okay? You have an option for that. If you want to read the release notes, you have them on the description, okay? So. Go there if you want to. As for now, let's go to the performance comparisons. So as you saw, around 20 average FPS in that specific part. We do have some stutters uh, due to shader cache loading, I suppose, but we do have over 20 average FPS difference in that particular part, okay? So these optimizations do work for the older cards such as the 5700 XT. But what about other games, the X9, 11 and so on? Let's test another games now with some charts. So, to test if this fix is actually working for older cards, let's start with the CPU dependent DX9 title, CSGO. Here the results, although most likely not noticeable in real gameplay, the results do not lie, and we not only have 18 average FPS more, but we also have around 2 more FPS in the 1% lows. Percentage wise, these 18 average FPS are nothing and will rarely impact the overall performance. But the point here was to see if the improvement was working, and even with the modded drivers, it is. Passing right now to the X11 title with Need for Speed Heat. This game is a real CPU and RAM frequency dependent game, so I felt like it would be a good test for these drivers, 
and I guess I wasn't wrong. We had around 8 average FPS more with the Amer Nime drivers and it was with a 12600K and I suspect using a lower end CPU would show even bigger differences. And don't get me wrong, this game is really heavy and even going from let's say 2200MHz CL16 to 3800MHz CL14 would bring only a difference of around 10 average FPS, so this 8 average FPS difference with the Amer Nime drivers are really welcome. I also added PUBG to the second DX11 title since it is still a widely played game and this is where we have some interesting results. We have around 3 average FPS less with the modded drivers but on the other hand we have a boost of 13 FPS in the 1% lows which is considerable for a card like the 5700 XT meaning we have a little less average FPS but overall bigger and better smoothness. For the DX12 game I picked Horizon Zero Dawn using high settings since this game can be a real CPU hog and overall the performance difference was minimal, with the modded drivers bringing around 2 FPS more in the 1% lows, which is nothing remotely close to be noticeable, but they are there I guess. On the other hand, our Vulcan game, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, did show us some improvements in the overall performance, with 4 average FPS more and 5 FPS in the 1% lows, which is nothing astonishing, but shows us once again that fix for the RX 6000 series cards is indeed working on older generation ones such as the RX 5700 XT, which is very nice to know. So as you saw, these optimizations worked very well with the 5700 XT and as you can see, with uh, the with 22.5.2 drivers we do not have those optimizations uh, on the older cards but with the Amer Nime drivers, even with the 22.5.1, we can have them. We can! And they work very well in games like PUBG, we have way more smoothness. In games like God of War, we have a huge increase in those specific parts. And even some Vulcan games like Ghost Recon Breakpoint that are really CPU dependent have indeed a performance uplift. It is not a crazy performance uplift, but it is there. And the one on God of War is kind of crazy, 20 average FPS difference. So yeah, it is worth it to install the Amer Nimi modded drivers for older cards, at least if you really like to play CPU dependent titles then these drivers will help in most scenarios. Now they have more good things and they also have some bad things that I will show you right now. I have a list here. The first good point is higher FPS not only in the X9, 10 and 11 games but also in the X12 and Vulcan games if those games are really CPU dependent usually okay. Uh, we also have somehow we have lower temps so lower temperatures with the same fan speeds um, and higher power draw. If you go once again to the God of War side-by-side -side comparison, you can see that we have lower temperatures although the power draw is higher. And that means that maybe these drivers work better uh, in those aspects in terms of temperatures. They maybe manage better the GPU uh, comparing to the 22.5.2 drivers, okay? So we have higher power draw but we still have lower temperatures, which is nice, at the same fan speed, very nice. We also have smart access memory for Vega and older cards, for Vega and Polaris cards, okay, the old, the really old cards do not have it, but the Vega and Polaris cards do, so Vega 56, Vega 64, um, RX 580, RX 570, they can use smart access memory. If you want to see some results on Vega 56, you have this video passing right now in the screen, also with a link in the description, okay? So if you want to watch those results, they are worth it. If you have a Vega 56, just install these drivers and use smart access memory. Another good thing is that we have Raven Super Resolution for laptops as well. So if you have an RDNA laptop, for example, RX 5000 series or 6000 series on your laptop, you can now use Raven Super Resolution. AMD, God knows why, once again, God knows why! I don't know. They just enabled the, the Radeon Super Resolution for the RDNA cards. Why? I don't really know. Radeon Super Resolution uses the same algorithm as the Fidelity FX Super Resolution that can be used in cards such as the RX 580, so why not enable the, the Radeon Super Resolution on older cards as well? I think it will come, at least I hope it will, but well, with the modded drivers you can at least 
you can at least use the Rhythm Super Resolution on your laptop if you have an RDNA laptop GPU. Like I said, you can now use Rhythm Super Resolution with these modded drivers, thing that you couldn't do with your original AMD ones. Another great thing that we have with these drivers, with the Amanima drivers, is the fact that you can now record and stream with all your APUs and laptop GPUs. So, once again, AMD, and once again, God knows why! I don't think even God knows why they did this, because it's just a stupid thing, okay? They basically blocked, they locked and blocked on the recording and streaming options on the APUs and laptop GPUs and it doesn't make any sense. They locked it, at least on the, on the AMD software, you can use other software to do it, but on the AMD software you do not have that option. And I really don't know why. I used these modded drivers before to record the gameplays with a 4650G, the APU, the Ryzen APU, and with the 2400G and it worked perfectly. Perfectly, so I don't really understand why AMD lock these features, but with the Amernimi drivers You can actually use those features on your APUs and on your laptop GPUs Great now these drivers aren't all good things and one of the bad things that we have are the stutters when loading the shader cache But this is not a thing from the modded drivers It is actually a thing done by the DX910 and 11, and 11 optimizations that also come with the AMD drivers Days Gone being one of the games where we, where we actually have heavy stutters when loading some parts of the map We have really heavy stutters if you pass that there for the second or third time, it will run smoothly because the shader cache is now loaded. But if you're going to pass that, that area for the first time, it will indeed have heavy stutters, okay? Later you have better FPS, but at the same time you have lots of stutters. So in some games it will be okay, like God of War, you have a stutter here and there. But in some games like Days Gone, the stutters will be a lot, okay? So it's a trade-off. In some games it will run better, some DX11 and 9 games it will run better, in others you'll have lots of stutters. So it is a bad thing, not from the modded drivers, but from the drivers optimization that they did to the X9, 10 and 11, okay? So you have to pick what you want basically. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot and well I guess I see you in the next one but yes you need these drivers again. See you in the next one guys.